I was first diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in July 2011. I got to the point where I wasn't walking very, very well and I couldn't even drive anymore because of the numbness was so severe in my feet. I couldn't walk at work without holding onto the wall. There really was no for sure outlook. It was kind of like, well, you might be fine or you might be in a wheelchair. No one knows. As soon as I started coming here, I felt so welcome and it was just like they were family immediately and they're so caring. We were on the way home from treatment. It was after six treatments that um, I was riding in the back seat of my parents' car and I started wiggling my toes and I could feel in between my toes. I could feel the sensation when I was wiggling my toes and I was like so excited. <laughs> after 13 treatments, I was actually feeling enough in my feet um, that I was able to drive myself. I grew up doing ballet and, you know, I, I didn't even have a feeling in my feet to point my toes at the time, you know, so I thought I'll never be able to do these things again. And, and now because of Sarah's Garden, I can do those things that I've always loved doing. So my neurologist, when I first came, um, he didn't really know anything about it. And then when I went back to him for a checkup after I had been here the first time, he couldn't believe the difference that he saw um, in me. So he was very encouraged and he said, keep doing it. Well, every time I come, I get to see and witness new people healing and getting better. Um, and I get to watch these miracles happen right before my eyes. And it's astounding every time that I'm here, I, I can't believe you know, what's happening here. If it weren't for Sarah's garden, I really don't know where I would be today. Um, I was on disability when I first came here. I feel very, very encouraged for my future. <laughs>